everyone. Today we're doing the oxidase test and what we're trying to find out is if the bacteria has cytochrome oxidase, which is an enzyme that catalyzes the oxidation of cytochrome C during the cellular respiration process. And in the case of a positive, there would be a um, purple reaction and if, or blue, and if it was negative, there would be no color change. What we're trying to see if in the presence of oxygen, can the uh, bacteria still produce ATP through that cellular respiration process? So first of all, the cellular respiration process is done by the electron transport chain in bacteria that's in their cellular membrane. And what's happening is the electrons are being passed across the membrane and through the membrane using these different proteins and enzymes that basically shuttle those electrons all the way over to the um, ATP synthetase uh, complex. And there are also um, proton pumps that are pushing out these hydrogen ions outside of the cell, all making it possible for the ATP to be produced at the end in the presence of oxygen. So these organisms that are positive will end up um, being aerobic or being able to um, have cellular respiration in the presence of oxygen, whereas we would expect that obligate anaerobes would not be able to do this. And maybe they have some other kind of cytochrome protein instead. Okay, and so what we're going to do today is uh, first, we're going to use this little guy. This is um, our oxidase reagent. It's got a little glass ampule in here, so you have to break it. It contains the reagent fluid. When I get that nice and broken up and see how there is a hole at the tip, even if you squeeze it before you break it, it's never going to come down to the tip, but now it will. So it will come out when you squeeze it. All right. We have a sterile swab also right here. There's two within this packet. I'm going to open it up. Okay. So we have two in there. And so the first thing that we do is pick a swab. And for our unknown organism, we would end up um, picking a colony using the swab. So there are different kinds of um, procedures that you can do with oxidase. You can use a filter paper, uh, you can use a test tube method, or you can use this uh, swab method, which is what we're going to do. All right, so we're gonna saturate the tip. So get all the reagent down to the tip. Saturate the tip of the swab with the reagent, and we're gonna pick up a colony. So here we have Neisseria. Neisseria is going to be one of the positive organisms. I had done this already. You can see on a direct, um, you can also do a direct plate method where you're um, dropping reagent onto there, but you can see <laughs> I had already picked up some and it's already purple on the plate. So that would have been a positive. So I guess that's a spoiler alert. So make sure that the wet part of the swab is going to go onto the uh, colonies that you want. This is a pure culture. Okay, if it was not a pure culture, you'd want to go out to where you, uh, you have a particular uh, colony that you want to test. So I'm going to go and pick up some from the pure side and you're looking for an immediate change. That is purple. You can see it right there. An immediate change means that it's positive. Okay, you're looking for blue or purple and uh, if it's positive, a strong reaction would be an immediate reaction in under 60 seconds. A delayed reaction is going to be 60 to 90 seconds. And then if it's negative, it would be longer than 90 seconds and still not turning, <laughs> still not turning purple or blue. All right. So that was Neisseria. Um, our first grouping of organisms in our course uh, include the gram-positive cocci, gram-negative cocci, and gram-negative cocobacilli. 
So out of those, the gram-positive cocci are all negative except Moraxella, sorry, uh, <laughs> Micrococcus luteus. And then our gram-negative uh, cocci are Neisseria and Moraxella catarales. And then our gram-negative Cocobacilli are Haemophilus. When we get to the section with GNRs, the non-fermenters may have a positive oxidase reaction, but Enterobacter ACA will not. And then when we get to our obligate anaerobes, obviously they're gonna be negative. <laughs> we still did them in the other um, videos that I did, but um, uh, I, I still have you do it just so that you get used to doing it. Okay, so let's look at what a negative will look like. Okay, so this is Staphylococcus epidermidis. So between when we do our flow chart, our testing flow chart, it ends up being between Micrococcus luteus and Staphylococcus epidermidis. And this is a way to differentiate them. So we'll do this again. All right, we're gonna saturate the tip of the swab. All right, now let's do a negative, which would be the Staphylococcus epidermidis. Again, these are um, pure, cult pure cultures. So let's see, I'm just gonna pull up some of that. And we're expecting, we're expecting this to be negative. So there is no immediate change. I didn't pull out a timer because it's, it's not gonna change. Um, okay, and let's do, let's do Micrococcus luteus so you can see that too. So I'm pulling out another set of swabs. How fun is this? All right, we're gonna do this one. This is our new guy. Saturate the swab. Get the correct bacteria. <laughs> All right, so this one, we already did Staphylococcus, Micrococcus luteus. All right, so that's the guy we're gonna use. Again, pure culture. Still gonna go out, let's find the saturated part. Out towards the end, notice how yellow this colony, these colonies are. That also gives you an indication of what it is in class. So there's yellow on there. We're waiting for that purple. All right, so some of you might be screaming at the screen. <laughs> um, the reason I'm showing you the oxidase reaction from Micrococcus luteus is because it should be positive for modified oxidase but not the oxidase that we have in our classroom, okay? So even though it is considered oxidase positive, it's not with the reagent that we have in our classroom. You use a modified oxidase reagent and there's an impregnate, impregnated disc that you can use um, and that's not what we have. So it's a completely different reagent that's used um, and uh, that's why you're seeing a negative here. So when you see that in the classroom, please don't get concerned, please don't get worried. Um, you do have other ways of knowing that it's Micrococcus luteus. So uh, that is the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. See you next time, bye.